I'd like to invite the boys and girls to please join me. I'm glad to see all of you here this morning. What do you think of Joey Appleseed? He's a little different, isn't he? Yeah. Well, I forgot to tell everybody something at the beginning of the service. Hi there. And how many of you like ice cream? Oh, everybody likes ice cream. Yes. Well, because this is Stewardship Month and the Stewardship Ministry wants to thank everyone for their support, uh, up in coffee hour this morning, we're going to have some of Mr. Putney's apple crisp. And so there'll be apple crisp for everybody up there. So I hope you're going to like that too. Well, I want to show you a few pictures here. And oh, we've got to get it out here. And this is a picture of my grandparents. And that's Derwood and Bessie. And my dad was named after my grandfather. So his name was Derwood Willis Hughes, Jr. And I've always been thankful that I wasn't the third. <laughs> and let me see. I've got another picture here. And this is a picture of my mom. And then I got a couple more pictures here. This is a picture of my great grandfather, Harry Davis of Monson, Maine. And he was a spruce gum king. Any of you ever have spruce gum? Any of you ever have spruce gum? A few people. Nasty stuff. <laughs> I, I had. They used to take this resin off of spruce trees and put it in little packages and you would chew it and become like gum but it tastes like you're chewing on a tree and this is my great grandmother this was his wife and I never knew her because she died before I was born and actually all of these people whose pictures I've shown you they've all died and that makes me sad because I can't talk to them today like I used to pick up the phone. But I also know that I'll see them again. And there's a story in the Bible. After Jesus was raised from the dead on Easter morning, he appeared to the disciples in a room. And they didn't think it was him at first. And he had to prove to them that it was him. And so he showed the nail prints in his hands and his feet. And one of the things that we know is that because Jesus was raised from the dead, we will be raised from the dead too, and we will be reunited with all the people we know and we love. And in order to explain how we can die and be raised again, I want to show you another picture. This is a flower. What kind of flower is this? Anybody know what kind of flower this is? Is it a rose? No, it's not a rose. Yeah? It's a tulip, that's right. And most flowers, they grow from seeds, but not tulips. And this is actually the leftover tulip from Easter Sunday. And you can see we've cut it down because it was all past and the flowers had fallen off and it had died. And underneath, you'll see this. That's a tulip bulb. And what happens is that bulb sits in the ground all through the winter. And then in the spring, when the light of the sun hits the ground and warms up the ground, this comes back to life. And the tulip grows again. And the tulip comes back to life. And we had a man in our church many years ago, and his name was Mr. Kenrick. And he said that that's what it was like for him, that he thought that in a way we were like a tulip bulb and that after we die, God's love touches us and we come back to life. And so while I'm sad that all of these people aren't with me anymore, I'm also glad because I know 
that because Jesus lives, that I will live again. And all the people that aren't with me anymore, I will see them again. And it's the same for, for all of us. And that just shows us how awesome God is and how much God loves us. Let us pray. Dear God, we're sad that there are times when someone we love is no longer with us. But we are glad that we know that we will see them again. And so we thank you for your love for us that is greater than anything we can possibly imagine. And that your love will raise all of us and we will be with you and all those we love in heaven someday. Amen. Thank you.